despicable flanking. I hate flanks. Not as much as I hate aggro, but still. Melting points for Tans Solomor. And melting points for me. I mean, he has already dropped fortresses. Why wouldn't I take melters? Still, no tax on the units and we're in round 6. I think that is honestly too late. I need to invest into some tax, but I was just going for units, I guess. And for stuff, not even that much. More melters. He has chaff in front now. More upgrades on the tower. Finally range on the mustangs, that is high time. These crawlers are annoying. Super annoying. He really is going in on that flank. I guess he's now officially playing aggro. He didn't start with aggro, but he's now officially playing aggro. I just like heavily investing into these flanks. It is so annoying to clean that up. It takes such a long time. There isn't all that much chaff clear here. I would have had to fix that, but I guess I do have the Mustangs now, and they are decent chaff clear. It starts being... yeah, Fortress is being locked on, finally. There's basically nothing but Giants left, so these should be cleaning it up decently quickly, hopefully. Well, there's four Giants for my opponent now, three and just one for me, and it's... It has inferior range somehow. How is that possible? Did he buy... Yeah, he did buy Enhanced Range. He bought that. But finally, this side has now won the trade. And that means I have actually a superior army, I think, compared to my opponent. The Mustangs alone are enough to clean this one up now. Without the tower debuff, my Mustangs are starting to win this side. Smoke bomb, range specialist, anti interference, even uh, junior manufacturing might not be a bad choice. My opponent picks the smoke bomb. What do I go for? Ah, smoke bomb here. That is good. That is a good play. I think this was a higher level opponent than I was. I go for range. He goes for fang production into mustangs. That I think is a mistake, honestly. I go for range on my melters. Unfortunately, this one didn't level, but does it really matter all that much? Additional melter comes down. Do I do something for chaff clear? Even dropping a level 1 Mustang might be good. I do drop a shield instead. Yeah, honestly, that is probably better. That is probably better. The superior choice. And I do drop some fangs in front so that he doesn't just EMP me. Maybe that was on my mind. Not sure anymore. But it should help, I hope. This is bad for me. Very bad. Um, honestly, is it that bad? A lot of these units just stay behind anyway. He definitely has a scary ball of giants here with a lot of late chaff. I guess it only is scary once these units start pushing for lack of alternatives. Fangs have shields already, okay. That into Mustangs, I think that is not all that worth it. Fortress locked on, one of the Melters went down. The second Melter also went down. This battle is also not being won by me, I imagine. Well, that Melter is tanking well. It has superior range, but there's just too much stuff moving in. And there's not enough of these Mustangs to clean up everything, especially under tower degradation. So this one goes in favor of my opponent by quite a mile, honestly. Level 7 Rhino, Fire Badgers, even the Wraiths, but I guess we both have Melters. Opponent picks the Fire Badgers. I, yeah, they are going in these flanks. I hate those flanks. I go for the Rhino. And it's time to hit the self-destruct button. Oil here. Okay, that is actively evil. There is some fighting styles that I like, and there are some fighting styles like this. Where I honestly say, F it. That is like, I don't want to say it's mean playing or anything. 
But that is about as evil as you can get in Mechabello. This is basically giving your opponent the middle finger and trying to use every strategy, no matter how cheesy, how bad, uh, how short term, how evil it is. I hate playing. I hate playing against something like that. It's just. It feels like you're constantly being bashed over the head with stupid stuff. I like a good old slugfest. Skill against skill, trying to outwit the other player, not out cheese him. But that is my opinion, and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Alright, let's check it out. This rhino should be destroying a lot of stuff. Boom. Three giants go down. Fire here should probably be getting ignited relatively soon. Yeah, with these crawlers here. If they hadn't existed, uh, that would not have happened. The giants move in. There is some in front to tank for him, but not all that much. Tower now goes down on the other side. Is this going to be the final round? Likely, yeah. I think that this is the final round. Yeah, it is. The cheesy freaking flanks. I hate them. I hate these flanks. I honestly wouldn't know how to flank my opponent, though. Like, with something worth it. I don't see a, an easy way to his tower. I could probably have gotten the Rhino through here, maybe. But there was a lot of chaff and level 4 Mustangs in a way. And again, level 7 Rhino probably could have done it. Honestly, I think the... Well, can you call it a mistake? I guess I should have seen coming that my opponent would throw the fire badgers here and probably could have defended against the oil, but that's also an investment. I think maybe the whirlwind here was too much, but I wanted this rhino to get in. I was expecting my opponent to throw some fire badgers here. That's why I dropped the oil. Yeah, in the end, it wasn't good enough. I hate playing against players like this, but I also can't deny that it is effective. And I guess that is all that matters to these players, no matter how evil it is. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening. If you're playing against me, please, please do not play like that. I don't like playing against it. But also, if that's what you have as fun in this game, then I guess you're entitled to do that. So who am I to complain and whine around like a little bitch? Thank you very much for watching and listening. Until next time.